All right. Uh, so we'll be exploring uh, log4j API um, in, in these uh, tutorials now. So what I'm going to do uh, right now, uh, I'll be generating logs in three ways, right? One uh, will be the console based logs, right? So console as in uh, the way you do uh, system out print talent, right? So it will be printed on your console. The second way I'll be generating in some files, right? Files uh, would be uh, the extension with dot uh, log file, right? And finally, I'll be adding one interesting topic over here. So how to mail these logs as well. So there are some appenders available uh, with log4j where we can send the logs. Uh, we can implement those appenders and it will actually gonna send out as an email, right? So what I'm trying to say over here, let's say uh, this is a project. If I just run this uh, over here, so what it will gonna do? The very first thing you can see these uh, the debug info. These are the log levels and these are being uh, generated over here, right? and you so you just saw that this response it appeared uh, just after few seconds after it uh, all these three lines got executed so these are the console logs and this is one that the email that got sent out right we got the responses okay so it means the email is successfully sent out for the same log an email i have actually configured it uh, for the log levels where we have error so only the error report will be sent out right and then these logs are actually printed to a file as well if i show you this application log file you can see the same uh, you can even see the time it, it actually got printed with the current timestamp and if i now navigate to my uh, inbox uh, you're gonna see over here i just got an email uh, and if i open this email it says that uh, the error in project and the error logs are only printed over here so if you see these are the error logs. Only the error logs are being printed. The same error logs are being sent as an email to following email IDs, right? So you can add more than one people as well while sending out emails. So this is uh, what we're gonna take a look, uh, how we can actually configure all these things, right? We'll first gonna start with the console level, then file level, and then the mail, uh, how we can email the logs as well using the log for jpi all right now what i'll do i'm going to create a new java project and let's say give it a name as log for j project right you can give any name to the java project and i'll be adding uh, some of the api some of the jar files that is uh, log for j right this uh, will help in uh, generating logs and one of the java mail api this will help us in sending out emails, right? These are the two uh, jars that you would be needing, right? Another thing uh, I would be needing is uh, the XML file, a log4j XML file with all the configuration. That is, uh, this uh, should be the format of an XML file, right? The very first thing we are talking about a console appended. I'll, what I'll do, I'll uh, just save this file. I'll say, uh, file save as, and give it a name as log4j.xml, right? And I'll just save this, right? So now uh, I'll be uh, copying this file and I'll paste it uh, to the source folder itself, right? I'll first explain you uh, what is written inside this file, right? So uh, these are the two important lines, a mandatory line that you need to add. Then the log project configuration is uh, from Jagartha Apache dot org because log project is a part of Apache. So these are something that you need to add it as it is. Then this is a console appended, right? The appended name is console, and this is a class through which uh, the logs will be generated on the console. So you need to actually append this class over here, and the target value equal to system out. So it will actually gonna uh, generate the logs on your console like the way you do system out print talent right and the logs layout this is a standard layout a pattern layout where the conversion pattern will uh, come something like this this is how uh, the logs in this pattern this is the current timestamp and these are other things these are standard things that you need to follow when you are generating logs right so these this is the appender uh, the console appender that we need to give 
and there there is a root configuration uh, where you need to tell uh, the priority value if you don't even give this uh, then that's fine there are several level of logs that will going to generate for the time being i'll just remove it and i'll say appender reference equal to console so i give the same name over here right this is one thing that you would be uh, needing right when you are uh, generating logs uh, in a console right and then uh, you'll be creating a class uh, let's say test log for j and i'll just create it with the main method right so i'll be uh, calling the log for j uh, over here i'll just say uh, static logger log equal to logger dot get logger right and it asks me for a class in your, now you need to make sure that when you're adding the log it should actually get added from apache log for j p m right and then you give this class name and say test this uh, dot class. That's it. Right. Now when you say uh, you're now going to get a lot of log levels. When you say log dot, you can even add the debug logs. So let's say uh, this is a debug log. Right. You can add information like info. So this is a info log right and then you can also add errors so you can say error in a project right and when you save this when you run it you're gonna see that the console logs are being printed like this way right so this is how uh, we can add the console logs and uh, I was talking about this uh, priority, uh, this uh, priority value, right? So we have actually removed it. If I again uh, bring it back, and if I say the debug is the lowest level of priority. If you say debug, then everything else will be executed over here. Any any level above debug will be uh, executed. So the lowest level in the priority is debug. If you say error, so error comes above above debug and info. So if I give error over here, and if I run it, then only the error logs will be executed, right? So then this depends on you if you want to define the priority over here or not. So this, uh, what I'll do, I'll comment it out for the time being, so that if you want to try and playing around this priority, you can do that as well, right? Now let's come back over here. Uh, so now the logs are being generated over here. Now what I want to do, I want to add a new file over here right and give it a name as let's say uh, log 4 j dot log right so i'll be adding uh, i want to add these logs over here in in a separate file so in order to do that i need uh, another appender that is a file appender so i'll be taking the file appender from here this is the file appender right same properties uh, let me uh, merge it in the log 4 j section so this is a log for the inside the log for the xml file right and i need to give the path of this log for j file over here right and i'll paste it over here like this right now same thing uh, like we have given the console appender this is a file appender and it comes from a class apache log for j file appender right here you need to give the path of the file where you want to uh, generate the logs. Append equal to false means that every time the new logs will be generated, if I give it true, then uh, it will actually going to overwrite the logs. I'm going to show you this thing, how it works. And then the same pattern layout I'm actually using over here. So if I save this and run this again, uh, you're going to see the logs will not get generated. Why the logs are not generated yet? Because uh, we need to give the appender reference over here. So the another appender reference we're gonna give is file appender now. So we have given two appenders, so the logs will be generated on the console as well as on the log file. So it has not yet generated it. Maybe I have done something wrong or let's see. Okay. 
Uh, so this is the error. I actually need to give it with the backslash. Right. So this is uh, basically uh, the error we have actually faced. Right. Uh, okay. So this has to be. Uh, this is not a backslash. This is uh, basically a forward slash that we need to use. Right. So we need not to give uh, the path and backslash. So we need to give it actually in the forward slash. So let us see if, if it generates the error this time or not. If I run this, so this is the current time snap on NFC. If you see over here, now the log time is right. So this is how we can generate the log over here uh, with the current time stamp and we can get it generated in the log file so if i run this again you will see 4102 so every time it is being updated over here and if i uh, change this appender uh, the value to true so you're gonna see that if i run this project again the logs will be appended over here right every time you run it the logs will be appended to the same file and if you don't want to append it to the same file just make it false and then run it again and you're gonna see the logs will not be appended right so this is how we can work with log 4 j to generate logs inside a log file and in the next example uh, we'll be looking at how we'll be using the email appender and uh, we'll be sending out uh, emails based on the logs that uh, are being generated